What's up YouTube? It's Leah's mom Ty and today's video is all about heal healing a fatty liver. So stay tuned. So welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And for the OGs, welcome back. Um, today, I wanted to tell you guys about some proven ways for myself. Now, I can't say that this worked for everyone, but it was 100% proven to work for me. So I want to share it with you guys because we family and I want you to know. So um, about a few years ago, I was diagnosed with the fatty liver. Now, the fatty liver is kind of synonymous with um, like um like people that drink too much when you get cirrhosis of a liver like it hardens and like your liver is important because it removes all bad things from your body it removes all bad hormones bad blood everything it just moves um it moves everything and it's important that it is good that's why you know if your liver goes bad they put you on liver transport uh transplant list because you need a liver you cannot live without it so um when i found out that i had a fatty liver which you get a fatty liver from not eating well so from eating too many too much junk um usually it's an overweight people but it's not uh a hundred percent if you're skinny and you still eat bad you you can get a fatty liver and the way that you know and it's something that like most doctors really don't there it's like they shrug at it it's like oh well you know you got a fatty liver just you know yeah, deal with it like no there's no cure and it's really nothing that they do about it they just have to let you know and some doctors don't even let you know if the if that um the alkaline phosphate is when uh the lab that they draw for and if this lab is out of range like maybe even like just a smidge over they're not going to tell you like that's what that means they might oh it might be a little bit abnormal you need to um watch your carb or junk food intake and just kind of like brush it off as something like you need to lose weight but it's actually a little bit more serious than that because again you can't live without a liver so if it's if it's a fatty liver that means that it's getting to the point where that it it is hardening that it's not getting any nutrients not oxygenating your blood so it's important that if you get this diagnosis from the doctor, if the doctor tells you that your alkaline phosphate is um, abnormal, um, some doctors will have you get an ultrasound if it's abnormal just to see, you know, that you don't have any um, spots on your liver, that it is just a fatty liver and that, you know, it's not, uh, you know, cancerous they'll look for any lumps or any masses or anything like that so but not all doctors do because again like if it's just a little bit out of range or you know even a lot like mine was like my doctor didn't make a big deal out of it she was like uh your uh alkaline phosphate is really high you should cut down on you know carby foods and things that are bad for you um, and while I didn't really take it to heart because, I mean, she didn't really make a big deal out of it. Like, if you tell fat people to lose weight, that's just what they do. So, you know, it's just another thing. You know, it's like a dog whistle. Like, only fat people can hear it. I just, every time they tell you to lose weight, I'll be like, okay, thank you. I will one of these days. But, again, the next year, the alkaline phosphate was even higher so she said, I want to, I want you to get an ultrasound. And so I got an ultrasound and it showed that my liver was fatty. So, um, I immediately did some research, looked at some blogs, looked at videos, um, read a lot of research on how to reverse a fatty liver and like, what are the effects? So, um, everyone knows my channel is motherhood, TTC and lifestyle. And I've been trying to get pregnant for a little over two years now. And um, the liver is the epicenter of getting rid of um, getting rid of bad 
hormones from your body like too much excess hormones reverberating around your body is not good like you need to your body needs to input the hormones that are needed and output the ones that are not so um i figure if my liver was not doing what it was supposed to then that is a good reason maybe why i'm not ovulating and uh, that was my problem so my number one uh thought was to make you know reverse the effects so i did a video about um castor oil packs i'm gonna link it up in the cards um and watch that to go more in detail i just bought a few of the things that you need you need a wool um cloth uh, uh organic castor oil and a water bottle and a towel and some saran wrap um and you can use these and put it on again look at uh look at my past video for like more in depth those are just what you need but those castor oil packs also you can look at videos about it my video is very informative um and it shows you how to do a castor oil pack i did it like maybe i want to say two to three times a week for about 30 minutes and only till you get up to your ovulation after you ovulate uh for those of you that are ttc do not use it after you ovulate um but if you're not ttc and it doesn't matter to you you can use it throughout the whole month do it one or two three times a week and i also took milk thistle and uh dandelion uh dandelion root in capsule form too um this is almost gone but my dandelion root is all gone so i wasn't able to show you that uh, uh for that but i use that this and the castor oil packs now i want to show you guys i'm gonna show you here okay so i got all my important information out for there as you can see the alkaline phosphate was done um, this was the, after the year. I think I was first diagnosed in 2016. But this is when the next year it was even higher. This is the range and this is what it was. So that's what made her go and send me to um, do the ultrasound to find out why my alkaline phosphate was so high. So this is fast forward to this is this year now and darkened out my information up there and this is the alkaline phosphate their range is different there but you'll still see normal range is from 50 to 142 and mine is 127 so even though the ranges are different you still get to see, even though the ranges are different you still get to see that the numbers are very good now. Let's see, can you see it? It was just better when I flipped it over. So the numbers, again, the ranges are different because one was done at one hospital three years ago and another one was done at a different hospital. So the ranges are different, but you can see that it was 144, which was way out of range three years ago. And just by doing those few things, um, I was able to reverse the effects and my liver is nice and unfatty. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, um, it's good and it's cycling the blood like it should. It is uh, getting rid of my hormones and I've actually noticed different effects. And th those are not the only vitamins that I'm taking. I'll do another video on all, all the vitamins as a whole that I'm taking that I'm pretty sure had another effect. But these specifically, research has shown that these things help. And milk thistle is like, um, for breastfeeding moms, milk thistle is really good to help with your milk supply, just an FYI. Um, but it really helped me and I just really wanted to kind of give you guys um, a follow up because I did that video like maybe a year or so ago of me starting. So it doesn't take really long as long as you're, oh, and I have also been eating better. So I guess I would say 
that is this, but it's also the effect that I cut out all, mostly all fried food. I don't fry anything here anymore. If I fry something, it's in my air fryer to make it crispy, but I'm not frying with any kind of oils anymore. And I, I switched to like avocado oil, olive oil, the good fatty oils, coconut oil from when I'm cooking. Um, but if I go out to like a fast food place, like Five Guys Burgers and Fries, Burger King, uh, wherever, if I eat out, I'm eating fried food. So it's not like I completely cut it out of my life and everything like that. But in the homestead, it is a little bit different than what I was doing before. So I would say that kind of changing because I'm not saying that I've a hundred percent um moved or changed things but i've done a, a really good uh 360 from what i was doing before so that is it i just wanted to um kind of show you guys that th these things did work for me um and so definitely give it a try even if you're not trying to conceive and you um you want to have a healthy liver so uh, is this is good information for everybody to have if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below um i want to thank everybody for being so loyal i haven't posted any videos in a little while i was taking a little youtube bro break i started um um uh, taking my master's program and um i thought my bachelor's was getting my bachelor's degree was really hard but my master's is no joke so <laughs> I haven't been taking a really long break trying to acclimate into getting um, into this master's program and getting my work done. But now I think I got a hold on it. It will be some weeks. If it's too hectic, I will not be posting a video. But I am back to posting content and my TTC journey. I'll have so much to update you guys on, including a not so good HSG um report that i'm not going to get into now but in um one of my next videos i'll be talking about that and what the rei um said about it so thank you for riding with your girl and stay in tune i am back and for all of my you fellow youtubers i'm going to be running that playlist so if i have missed you or not been uh getting to your videos go ahead and drop me a little emoji down below so i can run your playlist this weekend um and thanks everybody for tuning in i love you i love you i love you talk to you soon baby dust to you all